2 Corinthians 4, and amen, I had, I had something else on my mind, and God had, amen, laid this on my heart, and uh, I know today that the Lord knows what we need, the Lord knows exactly what you're facing, knows what everybody in the world, he, he's so, he's got such a, I mean, he's so, he's all-knowing, he's all-powerful, and he knows what you need while he knows what somebody on the other side of the world needs, and right. amen, he knows exactly what we need today. Second Corinthians 4 and verse number 1, you pray for me now, the Bible said, therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. That's what we did when God saved us. Not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Amen. That's one thing I want to do. It's amen. Never, never try to amen. I've, I've got a, I've got an obligation to preach this Bible. No matter who, no matter, no matter what, it, who it cuts, no matter who it makes mad. I've got an obligation to preach this Bible. Amen. One thing, one thing. If, amen. It don't matter if anybody ever knows who I was. But when I die, I want the people that's here under me at Valley View so he never backed up one time. Amen. But my manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Now Paul was went on and said all that. I believe that he might come to this right here. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We're troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We're perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus, my, uh, G, uh, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our, in our mortal flesh. One more verse. So then death worketh in us but life in you. That's all that I'm going to read. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, tonight or today, Lord, for, uh, Lord, just the privilege, God, that it is uh, I'd be gathered here one more time, Lord, in the, uh, God, in the house of God. Lord, I, I'm so thankful, Lord, to see, uh, uh, Lord, everybody come out today. And, uh, uh, Lord, I pray you'd give us, God, what we need. And, uh, uh, Lord, I pray today, God, that you'd just let me, uh, uh, God, get myself out of the way. Uh, and, Lord, that you'd on me God and Lord in only the way that you can and for God you know the heart of every man and God you know the heart of every woman and Lord you can supply our needs today and we ask you to do that God in the name of Jesus Christ and amen now as I sat down in the pew and that brother God began to deal with me about that brother this scripture here where Paul said we're troubled that brother on every side and uh, brother that's what I want to preach to you today uh, I'm being troubled on every side and uh, friend I could get up here and tell you I uh, may be about troubles in my life and uh, I could get up here and tell you I uh, uh, brother about things that uh, bring me heartache and things that uh, I uh, brother get me down but uh, through the testimonies I uh, uh, brother of the saints of God uh, and the prayer requests today uh, I know that every Everybody in this building, amen, or most of you now, and if not, if not most of us right now, and then somewhere down the road, and you're gonna be troubled, amen. I, I, I feel like today that there's several in here. I will know that by you, amen, by your prayer requests. I mean, whether it's your family, amen, so turning against you, or whether it's your family, that brother going down to the door. And that we're all going to face and one day after a while. And whether it's dead, and whether it's being persecuted, and whether it's, I mean, whatever it may be. Amen. The people of God 
It seems like they're troubled. I'm friend on every side. But Jesus said that it'd be this way. He said in this world you'll have tribulation. But be of good cheer. For I've overcome the world. Ain't she glad you serve the one that overcome the world. Amen. I preached last night. Amen. Up at Bowen's Chapel about the voice of the master and the Bible said that Jesus that brother said amen he said my sheep they know my voice and a stranger will they not follow amen oh I'm glad that I've got his voice when you're troubled on every side amen ain't you glad that God's with you when the world seems to throw everything a brother at you they can and she glad that God's with you amen I've heard Gene amen request prayer for Jimmy so many times and brother amen of this body that we've got here we've got an earth, a treasure in earth and vessels but this body is going back to the dust of the ground from the time that it came forth brother it began to die and it's a sad thing brother I went down to the funeral to the hospital amen I wanted to go see Freddie I got a text Wednesday night I said that Freddie that brother was in bad shape and I wanted to get down there had this on my plate and that on my plate and I got down there amen yesterday morning I guess 9 o'clock a little after and I got in there I didn't even know he was dead and I'm going somewhere with this and I said I don't guess he's even awake is he and they said he done passed about 20 minutes ago and I looked at that body a brother laying in that bed and brother I thought how the Bible said that this body would be sown in corruption it'd be sown in weakness but raised in power I'm sown in corruption but raised and in corruption our brother we're going to have trouble and there's going to be dead and there's going to be pain and there's going to be heartache but when you're troubled our brother on every side just be thankful that you've got somebody with you when you're troubled our brother on every side just be thankful you may have the, have the world on this side and they may have trouble on this side I trouble in front of you and trouble behind you but there's somebody down in your heart that said I'll never leave you I'll never forsake you but I'll be with you amen every mile I'm glad today I've got a friend that seeketh closer than a brother you trouble today friend but don't let it get you down don't let it get you depressed you've got a joy and you've got a treasure in this earthen vessel. If you hold on to God, and God will be right there with you. He'll be what you need. In down the darkest hour. Have you ever heard the song? At the darkest hour. It's just before dawn. It may be getting dark. But I read I Brother Ryan with the Bible said that the sun's gonna rise with healing in his wings. He said yet for a little while and then him that shall come I will come and he will not tarry he said yeah and when you see all these things I look up I lift up your head your redemption is a drawing <laughs> praise the Lord amen amen you might be troubled I don't know about you amen you may be troubled some of you are troubled Amen, there's things that trouble me. Amen, why sure, how we all get troubled. I'm a trouble on every side. Hallelujah, and the Bible said, I were cast down, but not destroyed. My friend, let me remind you, that no matter what comes your way, the world may cast you down, but as long as you've got God, you're a winner in the end. I'm a winner either way. If I 
I go, I rip, I stay. Why? I because I've got God on my side. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Trouble on every side, Sister Eula. Trouble on every side. Amen without a fighting. Amen. Amen and wars and all these things. I'm but right here in our homes. How we've got trouble. Amen. Right here in your home. How you may have trouble. How you may have sickness. Amen. You may have. Amen. I mean, Jennifer was troubled. How Wednesday night. Amen. Brought her to the altar. How we're going to be troubled one day. How we're going to be troubled. Amen. But oh, I troubled on every side. It don't really matter. Amen. Persecuted. Amen. When the world, how when they persecute you, I just remember this one thing. How you're not forsaken. How you're not forsaken. How glory to God. I feel like preaching today. Amen. I want to tell you. I want to remind you how God is with you. And if God be for you, how the world can't be against you. Amen. And probably, yeah, they'll be against you. But they'll not form any weapon against you. It's going to prosper. I don't let the devil I get you down. I just remember today I that though you're troubled, you've got a God that's right there with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, trouble's going to come. Trouble's going to come. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't a thing I can do about it. Amen. There's enough trouble in all of our lives that we'd be here all day I'm telling about the trouble that we've got in our lives. Our Lord, help me to preach it like I feel it. Amen. I, how we've got enough trouble, our brother, here in our lives. Amen. That we'd be here till the sun goes down. And probably after that, I'm telling about our trouble. Our brother, from the time that I got saved, I've had trouble. I had trouble before but now I've got somebody amen to share the heavy load I feel his presence I'm near me every day and amen although trouble overtakes me a long life's weary road you know what I, you know what the rest of that is I had somebody with me my brother all the way amen he won't leave you like some of your family did he won't leave you amen like a, like a world does I bet he said all the way. How far is he going to go, preacher? Amen. To the end of the world. And when the end of the world's here, he'll still be there. I bet all oh, the Bible said. And now we see through a glass. I'm darkly. I, right now I see. I bet all oh, Sister Jean, it's through a glass. I bet one day I'll put off his glass. I'll see him face to face. Ain't you glad today? For a day out in front of us, I will will see the Lord. I'm no more trouble, no more persecution, no more sorrow in your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, I'm glad that when trouble comes, I know who to go to. I know who to go to. I know who to go to. I know who you ever. Amen. Amen. I've been troubled. Wonder, amen. I, I ain't, amen. I ain't one that thinks it can't be wrong. I've got down and prayed and said, God, I want to do what you tell me to do. I want to preach what you tell me to preach. I don't want to get in myself. And brother, I've I found that this Bible, I, brother, it's going to stand whether I do or not. I, but I want to stand for it. I want to stand for the Bible. And brother, I, because one day I, the Bible's going to judge me. That's all that there is to it. Amen. Judgment must first. I begin the house of God. Now you know that that judgment's got to be right here. And if it don't begin with us, I where the end of them gonna be? You know why they're going to hell? I'll tell you right now. I Peter done told us ain't no judgment in the house of God. That's why there's lost people everywhere. I, but brother, we're troubled. Amen. We're troubled today. I, but hallelujah. If we'll just cling to God, hold the God's unchanging hand, I will come out back in the end. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Trouble on every side. Anybody feel like it? Trouble on every side. Nobody. 
Nobody knows what you're going through. You ever feel like it? Amen. There's a God that does. There's a God that does. Oh, Paul was a writing. That brother, he said, I've been troubled. That Paul said in one place, he said, I've been shipwrecked. He said, a night and a day, I spent in the deep. He said, I've been here. That brother, I've been there. He said, I've been pearls. I've been I've robbers. I've pearls. I've my own countrymen. I've pearls. I've false brethren. He said, five times, I received by 40 stripes of the Jews, save one. He was troubled. But brother Paul, I wasn't the only one that was troubled. I remember a man, a brother by the name of Peter. And Peter wrote this and said, cast all your cares upon him. For he, I cared for you. How do you know why Peter? I could tell a said he'd had experience. He knew that a man, whatever the care was, that God could handle it. How God could take it. It don't matter how big how your trial is. How God, oh God's got it. Amen. Have you ever seen them bracelets? I said, God's got this. I want to remind you today. How God's got it. How God's got it. How God's got it. it. Just hang on to God. Hallelujah. For He's holding on to you. He's holding on to you. I'm in His hand. I'm in His hand. Thank God. I'm in his hand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you. Amen. Amen. I feel good in the Lord this morning. I feel like I could preach a while. Amen. I feel like I could preach a while. Amen. I don't know. I mean, I feel like in myself I'm about done. Amen. But I feel like I could preach all day. Amen. Trouble on every side. Troubled on every side. Amen. We can start up here, go all the way to the back. Trouble's been in your life. That trouble's been in my life. Amen. I've heard it. I mean, amen. This is why you got to obey God. Amen. I'd go, I'd go, amen. The Bible said we're overcomers by our testimony. If I had not heard them testimonies, that's when God began to deal with me. And I was so unsure about what God thought God had given me. I prayed this morning and said, God, I need a message. Amen. I just tried to pray and seek the face of God. But I really didn't have one. Eugene, burning on my heart. But I sat there in the pew and I heard you testify to the three of you. And God said, turn over there. Amen. Where Paul said, I persecuted, but not destroyed. I persecuted, but not forsaken. I cast down, but not destroyed. Brother, I want to tell you, if you got trouble, there's men and women They've got trouble, but we've got a book full of examples that tells us God I will come through if we we'll trust in Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm try- you're troubled. Some of you troubled. Some of you troubled. Amen. And you're going to be troubled. That's all there is to it. You're going to be troubled. I'm troubled about things. Amen. I sure. Anything I can do but pray. Amen. Anything. I don't know what your situation is. Amen. Now God could heal Jimmy. Amen. But uh, anything Jim can do for him but pray. And I don't know what your situation is. Uh, but anything you can do but pray. Amen. But oh, I don't say that to say that's all we got. Uh, brother, prayer is all we need. Uh, we've got, uh, amen, we've got an access uh, to a God uh, that formed the whole world. Uh, why he's got the power. Uh, the Bible said uh, that in the beginning uh, darkness was upon uh, the face of the deep. Uh, amen. Boy, I feel the anointing of God. Uh, and the Bible said that uh, darkness was upon at the face of the deep. Amen. And God I said let there be light and there was light if we got a God that got that much I heard his voice I, do you know where the power's at? It's still in his word. It's amen. That's how the world I was formed and that's how I, you'll overcome. I'm just drawn out of God and God said he'd drawn out of you. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm glad he's with us, ain't you? I'm glad he's with us. Oh, Peter said, cast everything on him. Amen. Now, Peter was a man. Amen. Peter was a man that was out there fishing. And here come the Lord and said, come and follow me. I'll make you fishers of men. And the Bible said they laid down their nets and they followed after the Lord. Amen, here come the time. And the Bible said that the Lord told Peter, he said, I'm gonna die and the third day be risen again. And Peter said, oh no, Lord. I thought you don't, don't you say that. I, we're gonna fight for you and you're not gonna die. And the Lord looked at Peter and said get thee behind me Satan amen and they went on and the Bible said out there in the garden that Jesus said amen now let's back up a minute now let me not get ahead of myself they was in the upper room they was having the last supper and the Bible said he said one of you is a betrayer and you're right here in the midst of us and they all began to say Lord is it I and the Bible said he said it's the one that did stop with me. And the Bible said that Judas, the devil entered into him and he went out and he sold the Lord after 30 pieces of silver. Oh, 30 pieces of silver. 30 shekels of shame as the price paid for the Lord. But oh, brother, there's many today in our churches that have sold the Lord out for a whole lot less than 30 pieces of silver. But oh, how could I sell him out? when he's been with me uh, through every trouble, uh, every trial. Glory to God. I'm glad he's with us today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trouble on every side, ain't you? Amen. Well, I praise the Lord. Amen. It's, I mean, there's trouble everywhere. Amen. I'm glad he's with me. I'm glad he's with me. Paul wasn't the only one. Peter had to face it. So Peter brought some on himself, yeah. But amen, he repented. And the Bible said that to come out there, Jesus said, y'all watch yonder, watch here and pray. I'm gonna go a little bit further. I'm gonna get down and pray myself. And he said, he got down. Brother Garney said, Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And he went on back and he found Peter and John asleep. He said, wake up, boys. Amen. How could you not watch and pray for one hour? And he went back again. And he prayed again. And he come back and found them asleep. Amen. Or could you not watch and pray for one hour? And he went back one more time until it sweat I became, as it were, a great drops of blood. And the Bible said that he cried out in agony again. I then said, Father, if it be thy will, I let it pass from me but not my will but thine be done and he went on back and he said sleep on boys but here come old Judas is scared and said the one that I kiss is the one that you're going to take and he went up and he kissed the Lord and the Lord said I betray it sound me with the kiss and old Peter took his sword and he smote all at the high of the servant of the high priest here and the Lord I mean the Lord now I'm getting ready to be I took him to custody I'm about to be put in jail by these same men he grabbed that man's ear he put it up to his face and brother he said Peter if you live by the sword you'll die by the sword glory hallelujah Peter was there amen and went on and the Bible said he followed the Lord down and there he was and somebody said oh, you know him don't you amen no I don't know the man amen but let's remember back what the Lord told him he said Peter amen yeah you think you're going to be right there with me he said before the cock crows in the morning you're going to deny me thrice that was the first time and then he, as somebody else says Amen. Somebody else looked at, looked at him and said, well, I know you. You was out there with him in the city. He said, no, I don't know the man. 
Amen. There he was, a woman himself by the fire. He could look right through the judgment hall and see that see his Lord. And the Bible said, Amen, that somebody else. I said, you you were with him. And the Bible said he began. You know what she said? She said, Your speech bereath you. Now we know you're with him. And by the way, you're talking. Amen. I know. I, you ain't gonna be around somebody too long and to figure out where they stand with God. I what's in their heart. I'll come out of their mouth. And the Bible said and that I have the abundance of the heart and the mouth speaketh. I will hallelujah, brother. And the Bible said and that he denied him and began to curse. And Jesus looks right at him and the cock crew. What condemnation must have been on Peter. Amen. But old Peter, here's what Peter did. The Bible said he wept bitterly. And I wonder if Peter said, Oh God, I'm so troubled. I've denied my Savior. And the Bible said, but remember the Lord told him, He said, Peter, Satan desired you. You know why some of you may be troubled? Satan wants you. Right. Satan wants you. Thank you, Lord. Satan wants you. Amen. He desired to sift you as wheat. Amen. Now remember what the Lord told Peter. He said, but I prayed for you. I can have you praying for me. I can have you praying for me. I can have all of y'all praying. Amen. I can have you praying for me, Billy. I believe you can get a hold of God. I, but amen, I've got to have one praying for me. Hallelujah. It don't matter if you pray or not. I've got somebody that's going to the throne room of God. Hallelujah. You may be troubled, but he is on your side. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Peter got out there. Now the Bible don't say this. This is what history says. I don't know if it's true or not. Amen. But before we get there, I'm trying to close. Amen. Peter just tonight the Lord. And he got out there. Amen. The Lord, and he said, he went down the tomb. Amen. He went down the tomb that day. Amen. Saw the stone rolled away. Mary went back and said, Peter, Amen. He ain't down there no more. He's risen. Amen. And there they are. All together, Thomas said, I'll not believe. Amen. I'll not believe till I can take out my hand and put it in his side. I put it in the scars and in the wounds. I brother that's in his hand. And Jesus came right through. And brother let him do that. I, but Peter was out there. And Peter was so troubled I, that he said, I'm going fishing. Amen. Here's what you'll do. Now you better listen to me right here. Here's what you'll do if you ain't careful when you're troubled. You remember how Peter was when the Lord was on the shore? Do you remember what Peter had to do? Before he went out there to see the Lord, he had to put his clothes on. Because Peter was naked. Amen. If you don't care, if you ain't careful, you'll be over swallowed of much sorrow. And it'll lead you astray. It'll make you, it'll make me. And I've been through things in my life. And brother, if I'd not, I'd drawn nigh to God, I'd have wanted to backslid. Amen. I'm just going to be honest with you. If I'd not had this Bible and had good sound preaching, Brother Ryan, had there's been troubles in my life, I'd have out of backslid. I could feel the pull, Brother Garney, of the world of pulling at me. I could feel that pull. Amen. Here it comes. Get mad you want to. Amen. But I can feel that pull. Amen. Of the, of the country music pulling at me again. I can feel it. Amen. They, amen. Amen. I was I could remember how it made my soul feel. I had to be right there where they was. But brother I heard a voice. And I know a man that said yeah you may be troubled. And you may be. Amen. Cast down. But you're not destroyed. Let me remind you today. Troubles on every side but God he's still with you hallelujah praise the Lord amen I mean we've all been tempted ain't we amen every one of us has amen feel like things are I mean a few years ago amen I went through I went through some trouble Amen. You may not know it. You don't even know what I'm talking about probably, most of you. Amen. But I mean, it was, it was heartbreaking. It hurt me. Amen. But I've, amen. And yes, I was tempted. That's when the Lord, that's when the devil tempted me with that while I was going through that. But I found that there was strength in the amen in God. I found that there was strength. Amen. When you don't, have you ever got so troubled, you don't feel like reading this book. 
I'm raising my hand. Amen. I still read it. Amen. But you, you try to read it. Amen. You don't get a thing out of it. You don't get a thing out of it. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the way it is. But I found if I'll just keep on pressing on. If I'll just keep on pressing on. Hey Amen. You may be troubled on every side. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Let me remind you again. He's right there. Hey Amen. Peter. Hey Amen. Peter got out. He said, I'm going to fishing. And here come the Lord. He said, Boys, have you caught any fish? No. We've told all night. We ain't caught a fish. He said, put your net down the right side. Hey Amen. They put it down the right side. Hey Amen. And they said, they looked over at the other boats. Said, boys, get over here and help us. We've got so many fish in this net. It's going to turn the boat. It's going to make the boat capsize. But Peter realized who it was. He put on his coat. He got out in the water. He said, I'm tired. He said, I'm tired. I ain't going, I ain't fishing no more. Down there's that man they crucified. Down there's that man we thought was dead. He's out there on the shore. And Peter was so troubled. But he had a God that showed up right on time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just what he probably thought. I'm going back to fishing. Amen. Why well, nothing wrong fishing? Amen. But there is when you're naked. Just when Peter thought I ain't gonna have no, I ain't gonna have no convictions no more. Hey, I don't know if he thought that or not. Hey, Amen. But here he comes, right on time. Here he comes, right on time. God will be right on time. Right. J.M., if you're troubled, hey, I mean, as long as J.M.'s lived, there's been trouble in his life. Hey, Amen. But God's been there, ain't he? Amen. God's been there, ain't he? Amen. Why well, you know there's trouble about there. Amen. When Nicole was living the life she was, but God come through. God come through. Amen. God come through. Amen. You might be troubled this morning, church, but God's with you. Amen. I'm closing. Oh, Peter. Peter got out there. History says that when it come to time for him to die, he stood up for what was right. Amen. And they said, we're going to kill you, Peter. Same way you're going to preach this man all your life. You remember what they told him? They said, we're going to let you go. We're going to beat you and let you go. We're going to put you in jail if you just don't talk about the Lord no more. He said, I can't do that. <laughs> Amen. Whether it's right to obey God or obey man. Yeah, let me ask you one thing. I can't preach what you want me to preach. Right. Uh, amen. Right. Whether it's right to obey man or God, you tell me. But I've done made my mind up. I'm going to preach this Bible. Amen. I'm going to preach this Bible. That's the only thing I've got. Amen. You all, you all ain't been there. Amen. I, amen. I got some good people in this church. Amen. I believe you'd be there if I called you. I love you. Amen. I really do. And I, I appreciate you standing behind me. Amen. I mean, I feel I felt you. Amen, amen. I mean, I preached some things here. I've been run off some churches. Amen. But it's the truth. And whether you, amen, whether you stand or not, it's going to stand. I mean, it's hard to force feed people. And I appreciate you so much. I mean, let me say this. And I don't mean no disrespect. I mean, but y'all ain't been there. I, amen. When God's been there for me, I, you ain't been there. I, when I've been troubled and I've had the word right there in my heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel good in the Lord today. Amen. Well, we're going to crucify you just like you. Just like your Savior, Peter. You know what old Peter said? Here's what history says. Now, it's ain't in the Bible. This is what history says. Amen. If you can find out it's wrong, you come tell me. And I'll get up and tell the whole church tonight it's wrong. Amen. But history says this. And Peter, amen. When the time comes for him to be crucified, now Peter wasn't the only one troubled. I'm trying to close. He wasn't the only one troubled either. Amen. Oh, John, amen. The Bible, amen. History says they tried to boil him in oil. And when they couldn't kill him, they said, We'll get rid of that preacher. Amen. We'll get rid of that preacher. Let me just tell the devil. Amen. Go Amen. As long as God's with me, God, amen. The devil ain't going to get rid of me behind this pulpit. Amen. Amen. 
I'll be here to the day God says leave. Right. Come on, I hope I'm here to the day that I die. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I didn't take this church to have it two years and leave. Amen. I took this church, amen, to, amen, try to I preach the word. And brother, we've had some good meetings and we've seen God do some great things. We've also had trouble. And brother, let me tell you this. You think it's easy for me to get in this word and study and pray for a message when there's trouble every time we come to church. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. I've had to force myself and say, God, I've got to get you to help me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Trouble on every side. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But there's better days ahead. Right. I believe that, Billy. I believe there's better days ahead. Amen. Praise the Lord. You make your mind up, but there's better days ahead. There's going to be better days ahead. Amen. I love the Lord today. Peter said, Don't crucify me. I ain't worthy. But they said, we'll get rid of John. Hey Amen. Y'all ain't got nowhere to be, do you? Hey Amen. <laughs> if you do, go ahead and leave, and I'll just preach who's here. Hey Amen. Well, we'll get rid of that preacher. We'll get rid of that preacher. That's what they said about old John. We'll put him out there on Patmos. Ain't nobody out there. Hey Amen. But one day on the Lord's day, <laughs> <laughs> One day on the Lord's day, I heard a voice behind me, and it sounded like a voice of many waters. I turned around to see who it was. Who was it, John? It was Alpha. It was Omega. It was the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm so glad. I'm so glad He's with me. I'm so glad He's with me. Hey Amen. You may feel like you're all by yourself. But I'm never alone. No, never alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Boy, I needed this. Amen. Well, had a good meeting up on the mountain last night. Amen. Old William Bowen said, Y'all just bring this back with you in the morning. And I thought I won't take it to. Amen. Well, I'm going to be too. Amen. While we're all in this together. Amen. Lord's so good. Amen. And John said, I heard a voice behind me. The voice of many waters. And amen. I thought you was dead, Lord. I mean, we've seen you resurrected. And we've seen you go through all the land. But I ain't heard from you since then. Here it is. Amen. Probably around, probably 50, 70 years later. Somewhere around there, I guess. And John's been out there trying to do it right. And you know that the devil had to trouble him. And say, John, here's what you got for standing for the Lord. You out here ain't got no family. You out here ain't got nobody with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. There's been times I've, tr- I've been troubled. And I've had to realize that if ain't nobody left to preach to but to, God will be with me. Amen. God will be with me. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna, you can compromise and get a hundred on Sunday morning. Maybe we could do that. I don't know. Have more than what we do. I know that. But amen. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will. You know why? Because I can be troubled on every side. Got somebody with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, amen. Peter said, I ain't worthy. Amen. John, he's out there all by himself. John, they might have thought John's going to die a horrible death out there all alone. But John got to see something come down out of heaven. Amen. As a bride prepared for her husband. Amen. I saw no more death and I saw no more pain and I saw no more no more sickness. I saw no more division. I saw no more sea. All the former things are passed away. And John, you're out there by yourself. But don't be so troubled. You've got one that's right there with you. Amen. Well, Peter said I ain't worthy. Amen. To be crucified like my Lord. Just turn me upside down. Now crucifixion was hard enough. But to be turned upside down. Just turn me upside down. All the blood rushing to his head. Amen. Ever. Amen. I can remember hanging off the couch as a youngin. Amen. All the blood rushing to my head. Could you imagine hanging there for hours? Amen. Nails in your hands and nails in your feet. He said, but I ain't worthy. Amen. I wonder if the devil said, Peter, 
Look what this has got you. Look what the gospel's got you. Amen. But maybe a voice come to him and said, Amen. Peter, you remember when I said, Lo, I'm with you all way. Amen. The Lord maybe could have said to Peter, I didn't say I'd stop at the cross. Hey man, I didn't say I'd stop here when you was being crucified on this, on this, hey man, on this big, on this big tree. Hey man, I didn't say I'd stop. He's right there with you. Trouble on every side. You troubled, I know you are. Hey man, but God's with you. God's with you, Paul. I'm closing with old Paul. Paul said, he said, I mean, Paul persecuted the church. He got struck down the road to Damascus. And Paul went on a preaching. And new persecution from the time that he started. Amen. The Christians didn't want to have nothing to do with him. They was afraid of him. Amen. The Jews turned their back on him because they felt like he turned their back on me. And he did. When you get saved, you've got to turn your back on the world. Amen. Not that you ain't friends with the world. Amen. And friends with the world. Amen. With your I'd be friendly to the world. But the Bible said, I come out from among the world and be ye separate and touch not the unclean thing and he said I will receive you Amen Paul turned his back on Judaism he said now this bunch it's a teaching Amen it's rotten doctrine and all them over in Israel right now they're going to heaven if they die that's Amen that is blasphemy Amen Amen if that was the case then why would Paul say my heart's prayer and desire for God to God toward Israel is that they might be saved. Amen. But Paul said, not all Israel's Israel. You know who's Israel? Amen. Praise the Lord. That's not a Jew. That's one outwardly. But it's a Jew. That's one inwardly. We've not got the circumcision of the amen the outside and the circumcision of the flesh. But God took that knife, which is the word of God. He took that sword on the day that he saved me and he circumcised my heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'm saved. Paul said, not all Israel's Israel. And he suffered persecution for that. Amen. All Israel's going to be saved, the Bible said. Well, the church's going to be saved, ain't they? Amen. Amen. Jew gets in, they'll come the same way I did. Jew gets in, they'll come. Amen. That's caused a whole lot of people to hate the Jews. You can't hate a race of people and be right with God. Amen. Thus, God ain't cast off His people. He still loves them. But He said the same door that the Gentiles come through is what you're going to come through. That's the only way they're going to make it, Larry. It's by the blood. That's the only way they're going to make it. Amen. I know I've been long-winded today. Amen. But let me remind you. Amen. I've been long-winded a lot lately. That's all right. Amen. That's all right. Amen. It ain't 12 o'clock yet. No way. Amen. And if I preach to one, amen, if that's what you're going to base where you go to church on, find you another. Now, ain't come for the right reason. No way. Now, brother, I'd like to see it get so big we didn't have to leave. We'd be here at six. Amen. amen. I'd like to see it get that big. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we don't just carry on and make a show to get it that big. Amen. All right. Trouble on every side. Paul come down the point. He said, I've been shipwrecked. I've suffered this. I've suffered that. He said, amen. But I count all these things glory to the Lord. He said, five times received I 40 stripes of the Jews. Save one. They couldn't whip a man over 40 times and they'd stop at that 39 lest they'd miscount. Amen. That's what I've been told. Amen. And Well, five times. And then he went on and he said, I, my own brothers, my own brethren, they've forsaken me. My own countrymen, they've forsaken me. Amen. False brethren. Why, well, yeah, no doubt they'll forsake you. Amen. But we're persecuted, but not. Amen. Not forsaken. The whole world may forsake you, and they will, but God won't. God won't. God will not forsake you. You may walk off and leave the Lord, but God will not forsake you. Amen. Paul said, Peter's been crucified upside down. John gets bold and old, put on Patmos, gets out there and dies somewhere. Amen. And here old Paul is. Lord, I'm not immune to it either, he says. Amen. The Bible said they put Paul in prison. I'm going to close a minute. Amen. Y'all just pray for me. Amen. They put Paul in prison. Amen. And he wrote letters. What I'm reading right now, this Bible, 
a lot of it was written in prison from Paul. Amen. They gave it. They they took. Amen. And the Bible says, "Here's what Paul went through. Here's how Paul was troubled." For the cause of Christ. Amen. Oh, old King said, Well, if he'd not appealed to Caesar, I believe this man had been set at liberty. But the Bible said that they went on a journey. Amen. And Paul said, Y'all, I don't fear. He said, You should listen to me. And we should not lose some creed. He said, But remain, man, let me tell you what the Lord said. He said, The angel of the Lord that stood by me this night. He said, Ain't nobody gonna perish. He said, But if you'll abide in the ship until we get up to the shore, and nobody will perish. And the angel said, Paul, this journey is going to come with much harm of the tackling of the sin and endanger men's lives. But I've made you a promise and you've got to come to Jerusalem and testify to me. Amen. Amen. Here, history, here's what history says about Paul. Amen. He said, well, here's what he wrote Timothy. So I believe this is right. He said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. I've kept the faith. Have you been troubled, Paul? On every side. Persecuted. I've been persecuted, he said. But I ain't been forsaken. I've been cast down. But I ain't been destroyed. Paul said, I'm always bearing about in my body the marks. You know why Job went through what he went through? He was an upright man. You know why you're going through what you're going through? God sees that you got enough faith. And if you'll just hold on to God and trust in God, God will see you through it. God will see you through it. Amen. The Bible said, Paul said, I fought a good fight, Timothy. I've, you've been my son in the faith, but time for me to this time me go on. I fought a good fight to finish my course. I've kept the faith. Henceforth, I've got laid up in store for me. Hallelujah. A crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give to me at that day. Let me remind you here if you're troubled. Paul said not to me only, but to all them also that love his appearing. No, we got to wait on this, Gerald. Amen, a crown. Amen. We've got something awaiting. How you know what that crown symbolizes? It symbolizes eternal life. I ain't going up there to get gold on my head. I ain't going up there to get all hey, man, these fancy things. I'm going to live, live with Jesus. There, amen. Forever. 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 Amen. Troubled on every side. Amen. But we ain't cast down. Or we might be cast down. But we're not the shore. We might be troubled. But he's still with us. The history says Paul, the day of his execution, you know, they killed Paul, they cut his head off. And history says he ran. Don't they tell what it says, Garney? They tell what the, they tell what the, amen, the, the tale says that he ran out there. All right, boys. I fought a good fight. I finished my course. Paul, you ready to announce everything you've preached? Nope. I believe I laid my head right here. Amen. You remember what Paul told him one time? He said, to die is gain. Yeah. Amen. You think Paul wasn't troubled? But he said, I got a better place to go. Yeah. Amen. Ryan, if you get your song, that'd be good. Amen. You troubled today. Amen. I bet it'd be a good time to pray if you are. If you're troubled, it'd be a good time to lay it down. Amen. I love the Lord. He lo- and He loves me. I couldn't love Him you until He loved me. Amen. And I love Him because He first loved me. And I love and I and I and I love Him more every day because I found that in them troubles, He's been right there. Every head bowed and every eye closed. If you're here today and you're lost, when trouble comes your way, you ain't gonna have nobody to turn to. So let me first tell you, if you're lost, won't you come right now and get acquainted with this man that I preached about today? How about it, friend? Any, anybody need to come? God bless you. Son, just pray. That's good. Say, we humble ourselves as a little child. We not see the kingdom of God. Anybody else need to come? Won't you come right now and get right? You're going to face trouble, friend. You're going to face trouble. And if you ain't, if you ain't got God to lean on, amen. Everything's going to fall apart. I promise you that. I promise you'll do things you said you'd never do if you ain't got God on your side. So how about it, friend, when you come right now? When you come right now? And for you tonight, you today, friend, that's, you're, you're saved, you're a Christian, you're faithful to church. Are you troubled? Are you troubled? Let me tell you what to fix it. Just a little talk with Jesus. So how about it? Would somebody humble himself enough to get out of the seat and come pray? Anybody else? Amen. There's trouble on every side. 
I heard, what, three? Just a few testimonies of people in trouble. There's more in trouble. There's more in trouble. Anybody else need to pray? Anybody else need to pray? <laughs> Amen. Whatever it is, lay it down. Wait, now let me tell you, sinner, they've done gathered around the altar. The, the shame of coming's gone. That's in your mind. Ain't no shame, no way. But what the devil tells you is shame. You ain't got it now. Just come on down. Get right with God. Anybody? Anybody else want to come? Tell you trouble. Trouble's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be on the side or around us. Long as we live. Long as we live. It's gonna be it's gonna be around us. Amen. It's gonna be around us. But I'm glad we don't have to let it beset us. We don't have to let it beset us. I'm gonna get down here and pray in a minute too. But I'm trying to give an altar call. Anybody else? Anybody else wanna come? Won't you come right now? Won't you come right now? Somebody else? Boy, this is a. I wish I don't bring my phone in church, but I wish I'd had it this morning. Been a while since we've seen this. Been a while since we've seen that. Amen. A lot of the church, just about the whole church on the altar. That's how you get rid of your troubles. That's how you we get rid of. You. This is the prettiest sight. It's about the prettiest sight I've ever seen. Amen. Oh, if my people, which are called by my name, here's what He wants us to do. Here's what He wants us to do. Anybody else? Anybody else? Just slip out of your seat. Come on. <laughs> Amen. God's doing something. God's doing something. Anybody else? Your Heavenly Father, Lord, God, we're all troubled, Lord, I know. And God, about maybe things in our lives, God, things will come. And Lord, whether we're troubled today, God, or troubled yesterday, God, troubles going to come. God, regardless of where we are right now, God, I, I pray, Lord, that you'd help every soul that's on this altar. God, I pray you'd help them, God, and just strengthen them, Lord. Help us, God, to trust in you, God, in everything that we do. Lord, I pray, God, that when trouble comes our way, you help us, God, to run to you. Oh, Lord, I want to run to you at all times. God, just, Lord, just, I want to be like old John. Just fall on your bosom, Lord. Oh, God, help everyone that's on this altar. Give them what they need, God. Lord, we know you know the need. Oh, Lord, I pray, God, they just pray, God, till they get, till they, till they're satisfied. Pray, God, till they get what they need. Oh, God, won't you help us? Lord, help us, God. Save our people. Lord, we need a move. God, we need a, we need a move from you, Lord. God, we need a move. There's so much division in the land. God, there's so much division in politics. It's crept right in, in churches. God, it's one thing for it to be, Lord, up there in Washington, but it's right, it's right here in our churches. God, the devil likes to drive wedges. God, I pray, Lord, you'd help us. Lord, to just always have mercy and always stand for what's right. Help your people, God. <coughs> Lord, save our lost, touch our sick. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless everyone on this hall and everyone that's in this building. God help us. Lord help. Amen. I'll just pray as long as you want to. I believe we've had a move of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I do. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Ain't that, ain't that, ain't that. Amen. Yeah. That's precious. Yeah. Come over here and pray this power. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Bless you, you Joe. Bless you, buddy. The altar's still open today. Amen. The altar's still open. Yeah. Amen. No, you, no, you, you might have come in here troubled, and it, and you don't, but you don't have to take it home with you. You don't have to take it home with you. Amen. Anybody got anything they want to say this morning before we close? Before I was we... coming to church this morning I was thinking about something I had something on my mind that was didn't come to me. There ain't nothing you can do about it but pray. Yeah. There's something else I can do about it. I can trust and believe. Amen. Amen. That's right.